Hello, welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. I'm so thankful as always to have you here watching today's pick a card reading. Today we're gonna to be looking into how your person is honestly feeling about you. We'll be doing a pretty thorough energy check-in where after you pick your pile, we'll be looking at how you're currently feeling about your person to help you figure out whether or not it's your pile. But we'll be spending most of the time looking at your person's honest feelings for you. I am doing an extended reading today, so um, stay tuned to figure out what the topic will be. I'm going to ask Spirit what is most relevant to go into further. But without further ado, let's get into the pile selection. So there are three piles to choose from. For pile number one, we have the Selenite Heart with the Rainbow Heart Tarot deck. For pile number two, we have the Black Obsidian Crystal with the Pastel Journey Tarot. I just got this deck and I'm so obsessed with it. Not to influence which pile you pick, but I am very obsessed with this new deck. For pile number three, we have the Clear Quartz Heart and the Apparition Tarot. So go ahead and take whatever time you need to tune into the three piles and figure out which one you're drawn to. Um, you may be drawn to multiple piles and that is totally okay. Um, a lot of times they can, there can be future energies of an old energy. So you kind of just have to figure out where you are on the timeline for these energies. So I will have the timestamps linked down below along with all the extended readings. So I'm very excited to get into this reading and I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the Rainbow Heart Tarot deck and the Selenite Heart, then this is gonna be your reading where we're looking at how your person is honestly feeling about you and just updating you on their energy. So we're going to start off with an energy check-in where we're going to be looking at how you are currently experiencing the connection. Um, I'm going to put these to the side right now. I pre-pulled some oracle cards to look at your energy and the connection, how you're experiencing it. So um, we have the riddle for your energy and then sublimation for how you're experiencing the connection. Um, so the first thing that's coming through with this is I do feel like this is a relationship that has been very confusing for you. Um, you may have, um, spent a lot of time trying to piece this relationship together or, um, understand the connection, understand your person's feelings, understand the purpose of it and where it's going. So I feel like this is definitely something that hasn't been super clear. Um, but with sublimation here, this talks about, um, rising above and ascending and um, gaining more insight. And so I do feel like, um, although this has been a very confusing connection for you, I do feel like you've grown a lot through this connection and um, you have gained priceless insight um, into yourself and love in general through this connection. So I am sensing a more heavy soul connection here. Um, if you resonate with that or if that's something that helps you understand whether or not this is your pile. Um, we're going to get a few tarot cards as well to see how you are experiencing the relationship, how you're feeling. Um, just to help you make sure that this is your pile. We will also be doing an extended reading where we're going to be asking Spirit what else would be helpful for you to know about or to go into about your person. So stay tuned for that. I'll be pulling up a couple tarot cards to ask Spirit what topic to do. So... All right, let's tap into pound number one. How is pound number one currently experiencing the relationship and feeling towards their person? How will they know that this is their pile? We have the world. Yeah, I feel like you've, I feel like this has been a long cycle or um, something you were learning within this connection is something that um, it, it may even feel like it's been across lifetimes or you may even feel that um, something you learned through this connection or a pattern that you saw play out in this connection is something that connects to um, other relationships within your life. It just feels like this con connection runs really deep. And um, it's one where you were meant to gain spiritual insight towards yourself, especially with this purple, which is the color of the crown chakra. Um, and the world here is making me feel like it's been a spiritual lesson, um, this connection. With the world here as well, you may feel... Um, you may feel like something's closed out or is closing out with this person. Yeah, we have five of cups here. Okay, so yeah, there's a sense of grief and loss. Um, and 
um, maybe having to let go of this um, connection and, and kind of face the grief that comes with that. That was pounding really one. Yeah, it feels like there were a lot of what ifs in this connection or a lot of, um, I'm hearing like broken dreams or um, maybe a projection of things having turned out differently. Um, and so it may be something that you've really been working on getting closure on or closing out is what I'm hearing. Yeah, we have strength. I do feel like it's required a lot of um, courage and internal um, internal reflection. Um, I do feel like this relationship has caused you to face um, some of your shadows and to rise above um, an energy of self-sabotage or an energy of self-betrayal. And so I feel like you kind of have learned to um, to rise above with sublimation as well, rise above um, a sense of chaos or a sense of um, sadness, um, sadness to do with um, wanting maybe to go back to this person, maybe, maybe feeling that um, feeling connected or bonded to this because of wanting to understand it better and so i feel like a part of yourself wanted to understand it better um or maybe you've been trying to hold on to the attachment of this connection um, and so it's required a lot of internal strength in order to face um what's keeping you attached is what i'm getting four of swords yeah so it feels like you've been healing um it's like you've been having to spend time um reflecting on this is what i'm getting um because look at the purple colors around her matching this sublimation. I feel like you've been spending time um, in reflection because I do feel like there may have been a broken heart here or pain or um, this per you may have felt this person hurt you. Um, and it, it feels like it was something from the past or it feels like this, it feels like this is something that's been here for like at least a year or two at the least. Um, and it feels like you're at a stage right now where you're kind of independent. And so I don't know how much you're talking with this person. It may even be that you've had to find the strength to um, barricade yourself or, or pull back from this connection. But I do feel like there's a sense of um, understanding that there's something internal to be learned here. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles here, I do feel like um, it may be that this connection hasn't ended up bringing you... Um, two of cups or it's like you wanted the two of cups here, but there's a feeling of having to accept the relationship for where it is and um, kind of reassess where you're putting your energy. And again, look at this. She's holding the purple um, like chakra symbol above herself. And so I almost feel like it's almost like you've had to do chakra healing through this relationship. And it's almost like in order to get to this place of understanding and the strength the strength um, clouds are also purple. And so I almost feel like through the chaos and the confusion of this connection and um, what's been unclear to you, it almost just feels like you've been having realizations about it or it's like, yes, it's been very confusing. Yes, it has been painful, but I feel like it's been difficult because it's been wrapped up within your own um, lessons that you've been meaning to learn that could have to do with your shadow and it could have to do with you really going within and taming, taming the part of yourself that... Um, maybe is still unconscious or um, is self-sabotaging in some way. And I feel like you've had to, in order to look at this connection for what it is and, and bring yourself closure, it's almost like you've had to assess what this relationship is bringing for you. And it's like, you've had some sort of spiritual insight. I feel like that um, is going to be helpful for you beyond just this connection. It's almost like you've grown as a person. Um, even if it was difficult, even if it was painful is what I'm getting. How has pile number one been experiencing this relationship? How they know this is their pile? We have regeneration, yeah. So it feels like there's been a time period. I feel like apart from this person, um, apart from this energy, um, in order to kind of get away from the the chaos or the, the pain um, and to bring healing and peace. So I do feel like with this Four of Swords, it's like you've had to tap into your own inner strength in order to... Um, in order to not, yeah, to kind of heal yourself and to regenerate. Um, yeah, I do feel like you have been doing a lot of internal healing. 
um, in order to bring this to a close. And it's almost like you weren't able to get help from this connection of this person. It's like you may have searched for a long time for answers from this person or um, something like that. But in order to heal, it's almost like you had to go within, within yourself. And like the answer was always kind of within you is what I'm getting. Although it may have been tempting to chase this person or chase for answers um, or, or to stay in the past, to hold on to the past. We have blessed. Yeah, and I do feel like you are someone who has been um, looked over in general. Like, I do feel like, I feel like this relationship is something that's going to increase your abundance in general. That's just a message coming through is that I feel like um, it's almost like you've had to honor yourself more. You've had to understand what you deserve. And it's almost like you may have felt very like broken by this person or confused. And it's almost like, it's like you've been realizing more and more um, what you deserve and how connected you are. I do feel like with your own, with the divine as well, with blessed there and thinker. Yeah. I do feel that um, you have spent a lot of time again, like thinking about this person, um, trying to figure out um, the truth. I feel like you've been, there's been a lot of confusion and it's almost like you've had to, um, what I'm getting is you've had to learn more about yourself and address your shadow in order to understand this relationship better. And I do feel like it's come with blessings though. It's like, it's like you've done a lot for yourself. And so I want to say congratulations for, I feel like the work that you are doing, um, you could be anywhere. I'm feeling like guided to say like, this could be, you could still be in the confusion stage of this relationship. Um, but there is a feeling also with this blessed here of maybe through this connection, having felt like the divine turned its back on you, or you may have even felt um, just very confused as to how this person fit into your into your life and why like spirit would send you someone like this, why this would happen. I feel like there's a lot of confusion about that, but I feel like the more that you're healing and the more you're stand, uh, understanding uh, how this was meant to benefit you as a soul, this relationship, it's almost like you're seeing this more as a blessing now, but I feel like in the past it may have felt um, like a curse or like, like, why did you have to experience this? You may have been questioning that a lot. Um, so you could be anywhere within that cycle. You may feel that you're coming into a time period of rising above the confusion um, and learning more about yourself, learning more about um, spirit and the world and your place in the world. It, it just feels like there's a very deep connection that's um, triggered triggered deeper spiritual understanding. Um, yeah, because we have so much purple. And it's almost like once you, it's like you were the key to healing this and this person wasn't, um, but it was hard to see that is what I'm getting. Um, how has pile number one been experiencing this connection? We have safe travel. So you may have had to step away from this person as well. I am getting like a strong sense of, and here's worthiness too. I'm going to take that because there's a feeling here of, you yeah and then there's release under this as well so i just feel that um this has been a journey of you learning your worthiness and i want to read like what it says in the back there's just a couple of things it says i am whole i'm beautiful i'm radiant i'm love um and with the safe travel um i'm protected i'm guided i'm safe i'm loved and so i feel like you're coming into an understanding that this feels like it was a spiritual test or it feels like this relationship was pivotal in this time in this lifetime for you um, to raise your sense of self-worth, um, to better connect you with the divine and connect you with, um, an understanding of your relationship with the divine. I feel like it's improved through this whole situation and you healing from it. Um, and I'm seeing that like infinity symbol above her mind. It's almost like you're, you've become more in touch almost with how the universe works and how relationships work. I feel like you've really wised up and leveled up, maybe even ascended basically through this relationship and through the difficulties that you face in this relationship and the confusion. Um, it's almost like in order to put it to bed, you've had to level up and you've had to spiritually advance. And so I just feel like you've been on a journey of self. You've been on a journey of reconnecting with um, spirit and your own stepping more into your higher self's image for yourself in this lifetime. Um, but it's not to say that didn't come with a lot of pain and confusion um, and heartbreak is what I'm getting. But I feel like you have been stepping away from 
this person or this connection and piecing things together. So yeah, if that sounds like what you've been going through, then I feel like you'll have a good idea whether or not this is your reading. Um, now we're going to look at how your person is honestly feeling about you right now. Kind of check in on them. Get a sip of my tea. So I also already pre-pulled some oracle cards to look at your person's energy in the connection um, and how they're experiencing the connection as well. So we actually got two for what energy they're showing up in. We have the fault line in the one and then also Quicksilver. Okay, and so what I was um, looking at for these cards is that, or what I was getting from it, is a feeling of this connection being something that highlighted a lot of the cracks in this person's foundation um, with the fault line here. It's almost like this person I do feel has been walking through earth or, or just living in this lifetime with a more of a, um, uh, not selfish, but it's like, it's like they've been not really seeing life from the lens of everything being connected and non-duality. So the one talks about non-duality. And so I feel like this person um, has maybe gotten by through ego concepts or has had more ego in this lifetime. Um, and it's almost like through this connection, they've been pushed to see where um, they maybe haven't been addressing um, multiple sides of things. And so the way, a way I could explain that is Maybe this person um, is in a more masculine energy, and so they've kind of lived their life through just the masculine lens without really acknowledging the feminine energy and how that um, is the same side of the same coin as the masculine. So I feel like this person has been kind of a living a life where they are very separated within their mind in the way that they view um, opposites, basically. And so it's almost like this person didn't really have a strong concept of um, duality where you kind of understand that there is no this without the other, you know, um, without space, there can't be an object, things like that. Understanding how they simultaneously create each other opposites. And so in that way, they're connected, you know, um, girl is defined by not boy, but that, that might be a bad one for like genders, but I'm just saying like, um, you sometimes like the definition of something is impossible to define without the other, right? And so I feel like this person has lived with a lot of um, one-sidedness and almost a shallowness throughout their life, I feel like. And so I feel like this connection has woken this person up to the cracks in their foundation with the fault line and with Quicksilver here. This this talks about communication. It, it's related with Mer Mercury, but it's also related to um, like the divine like like the the ordinary becoming mystical and kind of seeing like the duality of things and seeing how um they relate and it's like this person is becoming more aware of that is what i'm getting so we'll see more about how that ties in but let's see how us they're currently feeling about you and how they're experiencing the connection right now so for pile number one how is their person feeling about them and the connection. How's pile number one's person feeling? We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Star. Yeah, and it's almost like what I'm getting to with the Wheel of Fortune coming out, there's a feeling of this person having felt like they. I don't know if this person like was successful or if they cared a lot about status or um, they felt almost invincible is kind of what I'm getting. This is like a part of their ego though. So it's not to say that that's all this person was. It's just more that this person, it's almost like they just saw so much from their own point of view. And so I'm like noticing how there's the whole entire color wheel here and all the different signs. And so it's almost like this person is growing within their understanding of differences and how maybe their perspective isn't always correct through, I feel like a lot changing in this person's life. So I do feel like this person maybe has had a, a significant change recently go on to them. And I feel like something's shaking them up. Um, maybe the changes that have gone on in this connection or other things, I'm also getting, it could be um, maybe certain foundations or structures or even like towers that this person relied on. I feel like they've come down. 
um, quite a bit. And so with the star here, I do feel like this person is looking towards you um, in this uh, star energy. I feel like this is how they may feel about you. Or it's almost like this person, until a certain amount of chaos came into their life, it's like they didn't really see you in a certain way. But let's get some more. I want to see what else comes through. House pound number one's person feeling towards them. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person is reconnecting um, with a part of their intuition or it's like with the Knight of Wands here, I feel like this person maybe played things safe in the past or um, they may have just had like a very rigid way about the way that they would interact with you or interact interact with the connection. And I feel like this person wouldn't really take very many risks is what I'm getting. Like, I feel like this person would live in a very 3D manner. Like, I feel like they would they didn't really see the benefit of like spiritual advancement or it's like this person wasn't super spiritual is what I'm getting. And so I almost feel like this person with the Knight of Wands is looking over at this star and it's like through knowing you or seeing you, it's like, I feel like their worldview is changing or it's like they're noticing, um, it's like they're coming into more respect for the law of the universe and um, kind of their ego is is coming down a bit, which is good. And I, and I feel like this person um, is kind of inspired to follow, um, to follow their instinct or like their spiritual impulses more through knowing you. It's something that I feel like they're thinking about, or they may even feel like you're doing that. Um, and so there's just this energy of them watching you. So they may, um, they may watch your social media. They may, um, there's just this energy of them very much with a focus on you. Um, and with the eight of pentacles here, again, it has something to do with like work or their structures that, um, they've been a part of it's like there's a feeling of there's a feeling of this person this person may also be very focused on their own career they, they that may be something that you know about them um but it's virgo energy here and so it's almost like that's what i was getting it's almost like this virgo energy of like tending to what needs to be done and and kind of staying very literal and detail oriented versus um seeing more uh spiritually and almost like instead of creating stability all the time, um, it's like this person is coming into an understanding of uh, following spiritual impulses and the benefits that that can have. And so I'm also getting here with the Eight of Pentacles and like all these different faces. It's almost like this person I feel like is maybe in a work environment or is in, um, I I'm just getting the feeling of this person almost feeling like they don't belong as much. It's like they've taken off their mask. It's almost like this person was very was living in this sort of consciousness where they may have been surrounded by a lot of shallow people or a lot of people that put like money and material things above spiritual advancement. Um, and there's just kind of a shallowness to this person's career, like what they do and the people they're, they're surrounded by. But I almost feel like it's like this person would have been wearing the mask before, but it's like they're almost seeing themselves as different from the people around them. And I feel like that's something that they've never really felt. Like I feel like they haven't really had the opportunity to expand their mind and expand their identity and expand how they can express themselves. Like, I feel like they've felt very boxed in. And so um, there's almost a feeling of this person's mind expanding um, and through the changes that they've experienced um, within this connection and through observing you is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person may have been very logical too. It's like, but there's this feeling of disconnect where I feel like it's almost, this is, this is random, but I am getting like a download about, um, I don't know if you guys have seen Fleabag, but, um, in Fleabag, it's like sometimes she can kind of make fun of the people around her a lot or just kind of be on this like other level. And so she'll always kind of like, let's say someone says something, she might like look at the camera and just kind of give you like a mind connection look where it's like, she's kind of making fun of the people around her. She's kind of seeing internally, she's always kind of seeing things through like a joker mentality. And it's almost like this person never thought that way. And so they've always kind of just been on the same level as like these other people um, around them that are all like focusing maybe on the same goals or something like that. But it's almost like they're becoming more of an individual or they're starting to see um, the potential for a different way is what I could say. And I do feel like it's this Aquarian energy. And so you, Aquarius might be relevant or you may just identify in some way with like Aquarius traits, um, being different. Uh, yeah, it just feels like the way that they feel about you is that they may even feel that you have really changed a lot or they may think that you have um, been on a come up in your life or that you have 
a lot has changed for you for the better through some sort of um, decisions that you've made. And so it's almost like they're seeing you healing. And so they're looking at you. And since you have been um, in this energy of maybe stepping away from this connection, it's like they definitely are seeing you in a more in a radiant light. And they're seeing how you've changed for the better and how um, how you've healed. And they're looking to you with a sense of hope. And so I do feel like this person has hope for the connection with the star being here. Um, they may even want things to change. There's an energy of this person um, knowing, and especially with the fault line here, it's like they know at any moment their foundation's about to crack and the way that they've been living their life isn't going to work. But I do get the sense of this person's like holding on, like they're holding on to this like mask. It's like, it's like they're starting to see both sides of a picture and maybe they only identified with one side of it and they, that's their comfort zone and, and they didn't like to kind of look outside of that. But I feel like something about you and um, the changes that have gone in this connection and within your life and them observing you, like there's a feeling of them um, being able to see the cracks within their own lifestyle and their own foundation and maybe the ways in which that they are boxing themselves into a certain um boxing themselves in by fitting in, boxing themselves in by needing to have a certain title or needing to um, make a certain amount of money, things like that. It's like there's something to do with like work and life work and focus and things like that. And um, yeah, there's just a feeling of this person pushing away the insight that they're getting though. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if I want to clarify these. I will. How is pile number one person feeling towards them? We have six of wands, the six of cups, and the three of wands. And I'm hearing this song right now. Um, I love this song, but it's from Wicked. And it's like um, when the two sisters are singing to each other. And I don't even know the names. I just like the songs, honestly. I think I've seen it live. But um one sister is leaving Oz and like Oz is kind of like a metaphor for what energy I'm getting from this eight of pentacles. It's like, it's like she ends up taking this flight away from Oz and she's like, wait, no, don't go. Like you could have all you ever wanted. Like, come on, you know, this is like what you've always wanted your whole life. Um, and so there's this energy of like, don't leave the system, like don't leave the matrix. And so I do feel like this person's very heavily like involved within the matrix, um, maybe works a nine to five job. Um, has just followed the steps that people have taken before. Um, but what I'm getting here is um, there's a, yeah, there's a feeling of you having walked away from this person, this lifestyle, something to do with um, a limitation you maybe felt that you had to follow in order to fit into this person's like type or, um, you know, their lifestyle. It's almost like your guys' lifestyles, I feel like clash because this, you're coming through in this star energy, which is very, um, forward thinking and different and kind of breaking away from the group. And I feel like this person's more focused in staying within one version of the truth or one version of success and, and community and kind of merging with a collective identity. I feel like I'm getting that energy. And so um, what I'm getting, I'm going to finish out the spread actually, but with the six of wands here, I do feel that they're seeing you come into some sort of victory. Even if you don't feel super like healed yet, there's a feeling of blessings have come in for you, especially with that card coming out. Um, I do feel like you're doing better than when you have interacted with this person in the past. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Um, four of cups here as well. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm getting is like, this person is starting to see a truth that they have denied. And I feel like a part of this person's shadow is not wanting to not wanting okay a part of this person's shadow i feel is um a sense of insecurity around um being different and so i feel like this person has always tried to fit in with the crowd and always tried to um feel better about themselves through the validation of other people and through the validation of a group is what I'm getting or a workplace, um, society, just like hierarch hierarchical structures that kind of on paper give you an elevation. And so it's kind of something that built up this person's sense of self. And so I feel like underneath that, there is a part of them that feels maybe threatened by your sense of difference, differentness, um, and, and not needing that sense of validation is what I'm getting, or maybe you stepped away from caring about that. 
And so I feel like there's an energy of this person being somewhat afraid of the realization that I feel they're having, but there's also an energy of them knowing that their foundation is crumbling and they can only go on to ignore what their soul is meant to learn right now for so long, but they are pushing it away. Something that I am getting. Um, they are pushing away the truth, but they are, it's like they're coming into truth, but they're also pushing it away. And so I think you are a big part in this person's journey because I feel like a message I'm getting just that's coming through here is like with the three of wands here, I almost feel like this person, um, I think they may be waiting for you or hoping that you would come back in their space is kind of what I'm getting with the three of wands. Um, I'm getting here because with the six of cups here that can talk about um, reconciliation and memories of the past. And so I almost just feel like this person with the star also representing hope, it does feel like this person has a hope of this connection changing and wishing that things were different. Um, and with the six of wands here, I do think there's something about you standing out to this person or them seeing you get some sort of recognition. Um, and that being something that's um, very much causing this person to step into a higher level of um, spirituality where they can see the benefits of different lifestyles, different ways to success as well. Um, and so I feel like um, it's like they want things to change with the Wheel of Fortune here too, though. It's like they want, um, I do feel like with the Six of Wands here too, they may want this connection to, they may want to make a better impression on you or they may want, um, they may want the state of this connection to change. They may even wish that there was some sort of potential to run into you or meet you, or they may even want to impress you in some sort of a way. Um, but I'm just getting that it, it wouldn't impress you if they stayed in the same energy and tried to do that somehow. Um, but I feel like a lot of this has to do with ego with this person. This relationship has um, what I'm also getting with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands is that I feel like the way they feel about you is that you are shifting how this person views ego and recognition from others. It's like, that's something that's shifting for them. And I feel like the universe is wanting them to open up their mind to seeing different ways of valuing people and the way that other people can value different things, you know? And I just feel like this person has grown up in a homogeneous, I don't know if that's the right way of saying it, but like the, a community where it's very like same minded. Um, yeah. And so there is an element of this person waiting for an opportunity to take an action towards you with the Knight of Wands here too and the Three of Wands. Um, but they're also holding themselves back because I feel like they may dream of a time when they feel more independent or a time where they're able to break away from um, a time where they're able to break away from this this group or needing the approval of others because the nine of pentacles is a very independent card and so there's a feeling here of this person waiting for a time period or waiting for something to shift so they feel um confident on their own and so i think this person is now aspiring um to be more independent i do think it's come from you and the way that they have viewed you but i also feel um I feel like this person with the four of cups, I feel like the longer that they, um, it's like they're not uh, taking the invitation to a higher level. I'm just getting this feeling of this person. I'm like saying that they want these insights. The fact that they have this desire to be independent and have some sort of reconciliation with you points to the idea of them um, growing as a soul because our desires can are important. And so what we desire has an ability to level us up. And so I feel like this desire that's been created through this relationship with you is meant to expand this person's understanding. Um, but they're also very afraid of that. And so I do feel like this person is pushing off the work they have to do, or there's a sense of procrastination and kind of thinking to the future. And there's kind of this fantasy element of like, in the future, things will change. It'll be different. Um, we'll, I'll be able to make a better impression on pile number one. There, there'll be more opportunity once I just get my work done once I elevate to the next level. It's like they're kind of waiting to be at the next level. But meanwhile, there's a feeling of apathy and growing growing um, dissatisfaction with their current lifestyle, dissatisfaction with the options around them. Um, yeah. And it's almost like 
Yeah, it's like I'm getting here that it's this person has been building up this King of Pentacles energy, but there's a feeling of um, this being somewhat of a tower that they've built for their own safety, like having built up their resources, having built up their status. It's like it's a something that they've done in order to it's been sometimes a fear based motivation for them so instead of kind of having abundance come to them it's like they've been accumulating wealth and status because that's what makes them feel less insecure um because somewhere within them they don't feel lovable or they don't feel good enough just being their own authentic self or like without some of those um without some of those like bells and whistles whatever that this person has accumulated um, and I am getting that there's a growing lack of motivation. I feel like this person at one point was very motivated to stay single focused on, um, accumulating and getting approval from others and things like that. And I almost just feel like this person is dwindling within their, um, motivation. And I think it's something that's very frustrating for this person. So I feel like they're in this apathetic energy or they're feeling blocked until they kind of recognize that they do want to heal potentially a wound that keeps them prison to like the matrix or prison to a lifestyle that they don't really want or surrounded by people that they don't really enjoy. So yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of mercury um, energy coming out. And so there may be something about this person's communication. Like, I don't know if this person struggles with communication towards you. Um, this person may, may keep a lot of information. I feel like this person plays things very safe. Um, but there's an energy of them waiting for an opportunity to, to follow their heart or follow their intuition. It's like, they're waiting for the right circumstances and it feels like it has to do with them. But it, what's unfortunate is that they're projecting into a future time period when they're going to be more independent and they'll have an opportunity for this instead of recognizing what they need to do to get there. Because I think what, what they may want to do is something that would threaten their security or, um, you know, it's something that they're like afraid of doing. But there's something about authenticity, um, seeing, seeing multiple options, not boxing. This person is learning to not box themselves into one ego identity or seeing one ego identity as better or more desirable. Um, and like some of those projections that this person has kind of held on to maybe since like childhood, they may have felt in order to be worthy. They need this, that, the other. Yeah. We have Aquarius again here. Yeah. And so this totally makes sense because especially in this deck too. I just read this the other day. It, it talks about the reason why collaborate is here is because it talks about how Aquarius, um, it's in the realm of understanding your own uniqueness while also contributing to the greater whole. And so, um, what's beautiful about Aquarius is it's, it's all, it's still about collaboration. It's not about, um, I'm hearing like a monarchy or kind of creating your own kingdom that's supposed to clash with everyone else. It's not about individuality for individuality's sake and for power. It's more, how can we, um, how can we use our differences and our own individual strengths and weaknesses to come together, um, to make a, um, a whole and a collective that's stronger for it. And so, um, I want to read if I have the, deck near me. Yes, I do. I just want to read a little bit because I feel like there's a message in there that really explains like what this person is going through right now and, and how you relate to this too. It says, um, it says live by your philosophy, Aquarius, um, traditional ruler Saturn asks us to know what society expects of us to care about our reputation. However, so, so that's kind of that energy that I've been picking up on is like, there's that Saturn energy, I guess this person has where it's like, caring a lot about what society suspects of us and caring about our reputation. This person's been heavily in that though, like, like without a balance of individuality is what I'm getting. Um, and says, it says, however, Aquarius says co-ruler Uranus encourage us to free ourselves from tradition or others' opinions and be able to think outside the box. And it's funny that it says that because I feel like this person's very much kept their thinking inside of a box, kept their communication, kept their self-expression with inside of a box. Um, and it says, you can feel like this is a paradox, but it, it refers, um, but it offers a healthy tension to manifest the true you. And so it's like about manifesting a more authentic self. Um, to get to this free place, investigate your philosophy, which is your operating manual, to make sure it's alive and authentic. When you feel your worldview and your actions are integrated, it's easier to call in healthy collaborations. Cultivate allies, find other 
uh, others called by the same causes and work together, weave together to create a community. Um, yeah, and it says spiritual practice and personal philosophy can be used to bypass authentic emotions. So be honest with yourself and don't try to talk yourself into feeling. So basically what this card is saying, especially in relation to your person, it's like, this person is learning, is going through some sort of Aquarian lesson here, especially with the star. And I think you are very much here to help them open up and have a more balanced view of how to collaborate with, um, I'm getting like the 11th house energy and um, how you make your impact on the world. It's important to take into account your own impulses and not bypass your, your um, authenticity for the group think, right? And so I almost feel like, and I also am getting that, I think that this person is coming into a realization that a lot of the people that they're surrounded with um, maybe are toxic in a way for them. And they may perpetuate this energy of bypassing authenticity to be approved of. And it kind of increases this person's like insecurity um, or shadow element of themselves that they've created an ego um, that's a little bit judgmental or a little, yeah, a little bit judgmental of other, right? I feel like this person um, very much thinks that by being in the in-group that they are better off that way. And I think that this person is in this lesson of seeing how that limits them and limits their actual happiness in life and their authenticity. But I think for a long time, it may have worked for this person, but it's definitely falling apart right now, this kind of mentality. And it may have been something that kept them away from you. There's also 11 there. It's 11th sign. You guys have water. Yeah, I want to see if there's anything else coming through. Yeah, and I'm also seeing like these dolphins here. It's almost like this person is waiting for a time where they can act freely and act without reservation. Um, this person may really struggle with authentic communication because they're so afraid sometimes of um like getting things right or this person's afraid of being embarrassed and afraid of rejection too so that may be something that complicated the relationship i think that's like one of their shadows um and so they may kind of be more one-dimensional in order to protect themselves from embarrassment but i feel like it also um restricts their inner child into especially with the six of cups there it's like oh and i'm also getting um through this sorry to kind of interrupt but it's like with the six of cups i feel like as a kid this person may have been a lot more creative or a lot more weird or different but i almost feel like at some point um they may have felt like embarrassed or they may have been shut down by people or called weird and so they may have wounds around not being accepted by people and so i almost feel like this person is reminded of their inner child through you and reminded of that energy of kind of being shameless you know i feel like children are very shameless and authentic they have no other way of being besides just themselves and you know, I think there's an energy that this person feels about you um, that reminds them of this within themselves. And before they had to worry about the approval of other people. And, um, but I also think that this person is kind of still in a mindset that isn't necessarily um, where spirit wants them to go with it. Because what I'm getting with this eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles, this person may be thinking is not making certain changes within their lifestyle or their career because they're thinking if they keep pushing within the group and they can become their own leader. And like, it's almost like this person thinks when they, once they get a certain level of embellishments, that's when they'll be able to have the freedom. It's almost like they're trying to fight to build their freedom through gaining more and more and more so they can get to like the top of a ladder. And then they almost think that when they get to the top of that ladder, that's when they can finally like let loose and, um be free but i almost feel like what this person isn't realizing is that they're going to be still chained to the, it's like it's an inner thing that this person has to do and and spirit is pushing them toward the spiritual test of like making the internal change and not they're almost trying to use the same mindset in order to shift this um so they can stay in their comfort zone and almost by working harder so they they don't want to risk anything or they don't want to let go or make any sacrifice um, to their security, but it's almost like that exact mechanism that's causing them to think that if they keep just like working or getting more high status, becoming more independent, getting more money, getting more um, land, houses, cars, whatever, like this person is thinking, it's almost like they think that, that then that's the time, but it's like this person, in order to pass this test and to level up spiritually, they're really meant to understand that it's 
the fact that they're still holding on is a representation of their fear-based mindset. And um, it's almost like they're going to be very disappointed when they realize that um, it kind of never ends. You know, it's kind of that same energy of like, oh, I'll be happy once I get this. And it's like your internal state isn't going to be altered by the external circumstances. And so I feel like sometimes this person has a hard time seeing that um, external doesn't equal internal. And so I think that's actually a big thing. I think that that's gone on in this relationship with this person that may have been frustrating for you is that I feel like they have um, very much felt that the external value of something is the only thing. And it's almost like this person has a hard time seeing the value of um, a certain different other in, in other, right? So like, let's say this person um, thinks that it's almost like this person thinks that if you see someone that's like has a lot or is like has a lot of money and has like a family and has all these like external things, has a house, um, a good job and all of that. It's like they almost think that they're going to be that they are. It's of higher value than someone who, let's say, doesn't have all of the, all of those things, but is a very good friend, a very funny person, it, internal traits. It's like this person doesn't value the internal traits as much, um, but it's kind of keeping them in a prison now is what I'm getting. And so I think that you were sent into this person's life in order to show them a, that you can still be accepted by others for your internal traits. And it's not even true that the external or like, there's so many people out there that don't value that. Um, this person is working on their inner child. And this person thinks that once they get to a certain level, they will have the freedom to, move towards you but for right now there's an energy of them also with the wheel of fortune thinking that oh, i'm getting another thing it's like this person has for a lot of their life allowed the external again like the like what's going on around them um to be their sense of validation i've already said this but like what i'm getting with like the six of wands it's almost like they're they're breaking from a mentality of thinking that they're not in control of their lives or it's like because they see things external or they see that like they don't really value the internal or they maybe they don't even understand that like ex for like manifestation for example it's like when you shift your internal understanding and feelings and beliefs like the external shifts with you and because this person doesn't really see the value of that or doesn't see the mentality they think it has to go the opposite way like they think everything has to shift around them and then they'll get a chance to, to focus on the internal but what this le lesson they're meant to be learning is that at all times, like they're in, they're in an interplay and it's like this person's needing to see their, their worldview is changing and the way that they view things um, is meant to shift. And I just think that they're struggling a little bit with it and they're still kind of having these faulty mindsets that I don't think spirit is going to allow. And so, um, yeah, this person is still in delusion a little bit and still I'm hearing like Maya or still, is still, um, trying to make changes from the same uh, level of the problem or like, you know, that quote that says doing the same things you, you've always done and expecting to get different results is insanity. This person can sometimes fall into that kind of an energy. Yeah. And I'm seeing come to the edge and no place like home. There's a feeling of this person wanting more adventure, wanting to follow their more um, intuitive side, like a non-logical energy um take risks it's like this person's being called to do that or their inner child wants that and um but because this person can feel insecure or feels like they need to belong to a community to be worthy it's like they're yeah they're dealing with the dichotomy of those two how is pal number one's person feeling here yeah we have why and so this person is being pushed to question their beliefs and question the reasons for their motivations right now um and instead of just, I even, I'm going to read it because it's just, my memory does something, but I feel like it's even better when I, there's extra messages when I read it. So I want to read you guys the, um, why protection message here. I feel like this person falls into this category a lot. So it says sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may drive you towards a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be prominent in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but about making yourself feel better, literally, because fame would cause people to admire of you and approve of you. 
Or you may want to reunite with a partner who rejected you because you believe that your love continues to be strong, but deep down what you really desire is to have the last word. Now is the time for deep soul searching of the why of the, that drives your choices. And that's, that's something that's so true about this person. It says, what you uncover will set you free and bring you ever closer to the happiness you seek. And this person is seeking a certain kind of happiness, but the key to them realizing it is to really ask themselves, why do they stay a part of this group? Why do they hold themselves back? And once they realize that it's not because it's not because they are just very driven in their career and like it, the cause matters for them and the job or the company is really important to their sole mission, it's because they want acceptance and accolade from other people. And if this person could really see it that way, it would shift, I do believe, the truth. And so it would shift this person's worldview. But I think sometimes this person's shadow is not really knowing that the reason why they do certain things is that we have cleaned it up and we have orphaned. Yeah. And so I feel like right now this person is aware that they have um, cleaning up to do, they have shifts to make, they have realizations, they have shadow work to do, um, things that don't fit them with the fault line here. It's like things are falling apart for this person um, and it's almost like they're struggling with a sense of home and aban abandonment and this fear of being abandoned if they're authentic. It's like this person has, I think, I think the orphan comes out here because I feel like this person has felt left out or felt like they're not enough or that they're inherently unlovable. And so I feel like a lot of their life they have fought to be accepted by their community and their group. But I feel like they're being asked to um, let go of, of these mindsets that don't serve them. And um, they're, yeah, they're being asked to, to um, change and, and to level up mentally and expand their view and, um, come into self-love. And I think what this has to do with you is this person may um, have not been open to the connection with you or they may not have seen your value. And it's almost this energy of you representing this authentic self. You represent this Aquarius energy to them. Um, yeah. And we have new life here because I think what this person really wants is a new excitement, a new happiness in their life. So um yeah that was very interesting i'm gonna see now what spirit wants to go into for the extended might use another deck all right spirit what would be useful for pile number one to hear more about in regards to this connection what would really benefit pile number one to hear about to go into further we have the star the two of pentacles we have the nine of wands the king of wands okay let me just set this out two of pentacles queen of cups Okay, so what I'm getting um, is spirit wanting to wanting to give you more information about what is coming in the future um, and how this connection may change in the future or how it's currently healing. I do feel like they also want to give you advice about how to balance out your um, emotions or something here about this relationship being a lesson for you on um balancing your more watery and empathetic energy and your more intuitive energy with um your own solar plexus energy and your own confidence and what you're achieving in this life and so i feel like there's messages about um spirit wants to give you messages about having hope for this connection or knowing how it can move forward um but how to maintain balance how to not lose your balance through this connection um, and so I think what would be really useful is for advice on this connection. I'm going to get first information about um, what's happening in the future and then advice for you on how to stay balanced um, while relating to this and how to stay empowered is what I want to get. So if that sounds interesting for you, I'll have it linked underneath the timestamps. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please do make sure to hit the like button. It really supports my channel. Um, leave a comment. I love to see what pile you guys picked and how you guys resonated with the video and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next pick a card reading and I hope to connect with your energy sometime soon.
pillow pile number two if you chose the black obsidian crystal and the pastel journey tarot then this is going to be your reading where we're looking at your person's true feelings for you we're going to start off with an energy check-in to help you figure out whether or not you pick the right pile there will be an extended reading as well well where we'll be asking spirit what else is relevant to continue to look into so if you do feel like this reading resonates for you you might want to check out the extended reading but for now we're going to start off with your energy check-in i did pre-pull some oracle cards for both you and your person we're going to start off with your side of it so i pulled um, a card for how your energy is coming through so we have the healer for your energy and this is supposed to be how you are experiencing the connection or what energy you're currently going through um, these are the alchemy oracle cards so we got the golden rose glass and the earth's heart and so as i was even pulling these for you i was hearing a couple of songs um that are kind of pointing to the same theme here so you have um, a couple of themes coming out already just through these oracle cards but the song i was hearing was um tangerine by um oh is it the glass animals it's funny that glass is here too maybe you like that band or you listen to them i know a lot of people do um but this this card came out as i was hearing that and i feel like it is a tangerine color so i thought that was really interesting um but now i'm also seeing the red um color here moving into the yellow and so i'm getting a feeling for you guys that um with the healer card here too, I do feel like you guys may recently be on a journey of discovery um, in regards to your own um, sense of worth and your own um, beauty within is kind of what I'm getting. And so um, I feel like in the past, you may be someone that um, tended to heal other people or maybe were attracted to people that um, had wounds or were you know, broken birds. And so I feel like you're on this journey of seeing yourself more clearly and seeing the gem within you or your own, um, I'm hearing magnificence or your own beauty, your own wisdom. Um, and so I feel like you're waking up to that. And so all these cards talk about um, the, the center and the earth's heart talks about um, traveling down, down, down to the center, which is also, um, references the heart chakra and so there's this energy here of going to the center and to find the secret or find the gem and so i almost feel like this is discussing you in a way and so i'm all i also was getting with the black obsidian on the outside and then this like pink color like i kept i don't know if i already said this but i was hearing the first they're sour then they're sweet then they're gone um and so i don't know i'm just getting this like multi-layered multi-dimensional energy coming for you guys pile number two where um i don't know i just get this feeling that you have so many layers to you i feel like you guys are very deep and complex people and i feel like you're on this journey of getting to know yourself and um understanding your own worth right now and i feel like this connection may have something to do with that but we'll see specifically how you're feeling about your person right now as an energy check-in so for pile number two how are they currently feeling about their person how will they know that this is their pile? We have four of wands. The emperor. The seven of pentacles. How's pile two feeling for the sun? The wheel of fortune and the ten of swords, okay. And the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing home is where the heart is. That's a random um, energy I'm getting. But, um, okay, so I do feel... I feel like you have, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like you've been going through quite a strong transition is the first thing I want to say. Um, I feel like you're getting to a moment of clarity or you're returning to a place of stability, maybe after not feeling super 
clear or you may have been going through like a dark night of the soul or been in a time period where um things weren't very stable and you didn't feel very warm or uh, clear in general but i feel like right now there's this energy of you coming into more clarity about this connection about this person as your own stability has been um increasing and so with the emperor here i am getting this message of potentially you may feel that this is your divine masculine i don't know if you um uh, identify with like terms like that, or if you think about relationships like that, but I do feel like there's this energy of knowing that this is a significant soulmate relationship. Um, maybe after a time period of wanting this person, um, it's like you've kind of found your own, your own sense of confidence and self-love. I just feel you guys have been on this self-love journey where you're seeing yourself so much clearer than you did in the past. And so because of that, I do feel like your perception of your person may be changing as of recently. And with the nine of cups here, it's like, there's just this energy of, yeah. And then there's the empress. I'm not surprised to see the empress. There's a feeling of coming into your own sense of worth and being on your own path right now. So, um, I feel that, um, with the 10 of swords here too, you know, that you may not be speaking with your person right now. Um, and with the seven of pentacles, it's like, you know what i'm hearing like girl put your records on tell me your favorite song there's a strong empowerment energy to to your pile um and so with the tennis swords, there's almost this energy of things being at a ending point with this relationship um because i do feel that maybe you weren't happy with what you were getting out of it like i feel like at some point you had to assess um you may have really wanted to hold on to this person, but I feel like there's this energy of you coming in, like fulfilling your own happiness with the nine of cups at the back of the deck too. Like, I feel like you've created some sense of stability and I feel like you've returned to your own heart. And so I'm getting this energy of someone who maybe hasn't felt like themselves for a really long time or hasn't felt um, almost like, oh, I'm hearing, when did your heart go missing? When did your heart go missing? Yeah, and so there may have just been a feeling of losing your own like connection with yourself through this connection or through some difficult events of the Ten of Swords being here, but I feel like things have been changing for you. Um, and I'm almost just getting like the way you feel is that it's like you've created your own sense of stability or happiness um, despite what's happened in the connection. Um, you're seeing things clearly. Um, I feel like you've healed yourself. I feel like you've gone through like a strong healing journey here. Um, and so a lot of this is more self-focused than I'd expect, but I just almost feel like <laughs> I'm hearing um, I'm the captain of the ship now. <laughs> like I almost feel like you maybe gave your power away in the past or you may have been wanting someone else to have more authority in your life, but I almost just feel like you're in this energy of um, taking, yeah, taking control of your own life is really what I'm getting. So I'm going to get a couple of these oracles and see what else. So this is almost less how you're feeling. This is more like a checkpoint of like where you're at is what I'm getting. Um... But yeah, I just feel like you're picking up the pieces. Oh, and I'm also hearing like no tears left to cry. We have Scorpio. Second house resources in Pluto rebirth. Yeah, I and Pluto is the death card too. So I feel like you guys have um, in Saturn's here as well at the back of the deck. Um, yeah, it feels like you've gone into your inner deaths. Um, with Scorpio. So Scorpio could be relevant for you. We also have Leo energy here. Um, we have Aries. Um, yeah, that's what I'm mainly getting, um, but that doesn't have to resonate. It just can be helpful for some of you guys. Um, but yeah, with Scorpio here, there's a feeling of like, I'm almost getting like you going deep, deep, deep within. And like, you may be someone who you could have been the type of person who didn't like see your own beauty or didn't see your own worth for a long time. Like I'm just getting that energy because I feel like with Scorpio, you may have just always been aware of the darker side of people and yourself. And so I feel like sometimes you've had a hard time seeing yourself in this like sunshine, like masculine energy where you're just very confident and proud of who you are. But I almost feel like um, with second house resources here, it's like, it's there's some, there's some sort of like leveling up going on right now um yeah rebirth i feel like you are really going through a rebirth and you're changing the way that you see yourself 
Um, yeah, and so you may just be curious to check up on your person and see like how they're doing um, because I don't feel like you guys are in, I don't, I almost am getting more of a single vibe where um, if you're not single, you may even be with someone else besides this person. So you may have already like moved on and I feel like things are looking really bright for you. I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like you've gone through a lot but I feel like things are really looking up for you right now. And it's like you've put an end to the things that didn't bring you abundance. Um, yeah, and there's a feeling here with the emperor almost representing your person in this feeling of looking at what you've been able to build with them or looking at them and just almost feeling that it's not as abundant as you'd like it to be, like this relationship. And so there's just this energy of like you putting yourself first um, and not holding yourself back and growing within like your self-love is what I'm getting, which is beautiful. So if that sounds like an energy you're going through, um, this could even be a future energy for you. And um, let's see how your person is currently feeling about you what's going on with them but this is such a beautiful energy i just want to let you guys know that the energy i'm picking up from you guys is um extremely beautiful um and extremely valuable and i just feel like you're coming into seeing that maybe you haven't always had the highest confidence all right this is the water Okay, so for your person, we have the Pilgrim and the One. We have the Blue Temple, um, Disillusion, and Winter. So we have all three blue cards. Um, by the way, I only wanted one card to come out for both of you guys. Three came out for the second part. So the energy that's representing them is the Pilgrim and the One and the sort of alchemy or energy that they're going through um, kind of individually, but also in regards to this relationship, in relationship with you, um, we have the Blue Temple, Disillusion, and Winter. So um, the energy I'm getting just coming through from this is, um, so while you have been on this journey of going in, 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 like there's also this feeling, there's also this like book that I read um, that reminds me of your guys' energy, but you guys have a very spiritual energy and a very enlightened energy is what I want to say. Um, but it's taking me a while to see that. But there's just this energy of go in, 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 go deeper, deeper within. And like you guys are um, in that feminine way, like always going in to, to um, find more depth. And that's also very Scorpionic is, is how deep can you discover into a topic and how deep does it go? And I feel like this person has almost had like an op opposite approach to life because with the pilgrim, they find meaning through um, travel. And what I'm getting is that this person understands um, spiritual concepts such as duality and everything being interconnected through travel and experience and being more external. And so I could see this person definitely being a counterpart energy to you because there is a feeling of this person um like you guys both having a similar footprint or like an energetic footprint but there's an energy of like an oppositeness here where um it's like while you've been moving into more warmer shades and more brighter shades that i would almost more stereotypically associate with like the solar plexus which is a masculine energy um i feel like this person is delving into the depths of water and the feminine energy and maybe this person has always been on the go or maybe this person didn't commit to you maybe you wanted more from the relationship and this person um maybe always ended up failing to be committed enough failing to go deep enough it's like you always want to go deeper and then i feel like this person is on the go or on the run or is always exploring maybe just when things feel like they're settling with this person, it's like they're they're on the go again. And it's because this person has a um, spiritual need, like a need to discover through that. Because it's almost like when this person, um, or in the past, I would say that they would feel more stuck if they were um, to be in the feminine energy, the out breath where um, there's rest and, but there's wisdom within that. And so I feel like, interestingly, this person is actually, um moving into a more feminine lesson time period where um they're they're in a winter time period right now so um a lot of things that um a lot of structures so it's almost it's, it's almost like this it's like think about the feminine energy it's like you could take a single water drop is what i'm getting 
imagine the feminine logic going this way, like a single water drop could have the entire universe within it. And the feminine energy would dissect the water drop and go deeper, deeper, deeper within to the one thing to recognize that everything has been encompassed in the one thing. And then the masculine energy would be, would be going everywhere and then seeing the teardrop in everything. Right. And then they, they understand the principle of everything being related, but it's just an inverse way of seeing it. And so I almost feel like now this person is, um, starting to see or starting to submerge themselves into the out breath and, and, um, Whereas the feminine energy would say, obviously everything is related to the raindrop. I feel like this masculine energy in the past would more be holding on to the different places or things that they found the water drop in. And that's just like a metaphor. Like the water drop doesn't mean anything specifically, but it's just like a, a, a thread or a unifying factor where you can feel sure that everything in the universe is connected. So like the one energy is about that. Um, and so with this disillusion here, this person I feel like is having a breakdown of ego and a breakdown of certain um, energies where they felt that um, they may have held onto their ego more than you did because they wanted external things to, they felt very driven by um, external achievement, and external exploration. And so in that way, they may have developed more of an ego that's more external of like achievement and things like that. And as to where you may have also achieved, like, um, fallen into a sort of ego, the ego would be more of an insecure ego. And this person's maybe more like, um, seeking confidence from the outside world. So anyways, that's kind of too detailed for right now, but let's look at how they're currently feeling about you. So what I would say is like reasons you can know this is your person is I, they're not very active right now. Like if you're getting the feeling or the intuition that this person is kind of in their own dark night of the soul or in their own things are falling apart for them, I just get this feeling of the structures that this person held on to are falling apart. Um, let's see how this impacts how they're feeling towards you. How is pal number two's person feeling towards them? the knight of cups so i do feel like this person is um tapping more into their emotions than they're used to they're becoming more aware of their emotions so i feel like emotions that they stored deep down are coming out right now so they're actually more in touch with their feminine energy how is pal number two's person feeling towards them the knight of swords six of cups yeah and it's interesting to me how it says um, light like a girl. And so it's almost like, it's like this person is is uh, really tapping into their feminine energy and under, coming into more understanding of the wisdom. Um, I am getting this energy because there's such a difference between the Knight of Cups and the and Knight of Swords. The Knight of Cups really moves to their heart, um, moves to their intuition and um, can be in this more daydreamy energy. I feel like the Knight of Swords is all intellectual. Um, and so with the six of cups, it's like, maybe this person's run away from you for a long time or really turn. Oh my God. I'm hearing this song. Turn around bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart and I need you not. You know, that song, a total eclipse of the heart. So I feel like they're in this very emotional energy. You may not be used to this person being in that energy. Cause I'm kind of getting that they have avoided that for a long time. But with the six of cups here, I feel like this person, um, is really thinking a lot about, emotional memories that they may have run away from. I'm getting that there's a lot of moments of connection that this relationship had, or you may have bid for emotional connection, or there may have been times where there just authentically was emotional connection, but this person's traveling back to it. I'm kind of getting the ghost of Christmas past energy too. Like, I feel like this person, I feel like they've had some sort of, um, ego check i'm getting the drowned king archetype as well where maybe in the past they didn't they were just very out of touch with the feminine principles like cooperation um just basically not always having an eye mentality which is more masculine it's like it's like this person and it's funny that it's the drowned king because they're submerged into water and so all of that ego and all of those like identities and and structures have faded and so because of that i just feel like certain it's like this person's feeling mushy when they don't usually feel mushy or they're feeling sentimental, like extremely sentimental towards you. Um, what else are pile number two? How's pile number two's person feeling towards them? 
So maybe thinking about the times that they've run away, the times that they haven't communicated, the fact that they haven't expressed themselves. Um, it's like they have bottled up energy. That was like they categorized it. Yeah. Okay. So we have the devil, the ten of pentacles, and the eight of cups, and the two of swords is back in the deck. All right. So um, I do feel that you may have walked away from this person. It literally says I'm leaving right here because that was the energy I was getting that you maybe were kind of tired of either chasing this person or not this person not opening up to you on the level in which they um, that you needed that you deserved is what I would say even. And so with this devil energy. I'm getting, okay, one thing I'm getting is that this person, this is just for some of you guys, they may have a hard time right now coping with all the emotions that they're feeling. And so um, something I'm getting is this is like something they go through the two of swords. They go back and forth on this. Um, so they're in this state of more feminine energy balancing out their system, but it's something that's really triggering for them is what I want to say. And so I'm getting this fluctuation energy where they go back and forth between having this more like addictive energy i'm getting it could be one they could literally drink or have some sort of vice or they may be a workaholic or they may they may use um their vision for like their legacy or their career um to keep them focused and, and away from their more emotional feelings or their feelings of missing you of memories of sentimental like mushy sweet feelings and it's almost funny to see this person represented in this deck because i feel like this is something that, like maybe this is very much your energy but like for them i just feel like it, it's just kind of funny to see this energy present in this deck because they're just not like this but um it's kind of cute in another way i'm like happy that they're represented by this right now it's funny um and so with the devil it's also the capricorn energy and so i just feel like this person has always been I'm hearing like, let's get down to business to defeat. Oh my God, that's oh my God, that's such a good reference right now because um, think about um, the Mulan story and the love interest, the man. Like, you know, he's all business and um, yeah, it's like he falls in love with Mulan though. It's kind of like that. I'm getting an, an energy. I don't remember his name though, um, but I am getting the feeling of, you know how he would never even he was like the man, man's man that was like training every other man that was like focused on the main goals. And like, he didn't have time for romance. He he's in this knight of swords energy. Like he needs to be on his toes. Like he doesn't need to be held back by love. And so I'm almost getting that it's like that with them. They feel that way about you. And so there's this love for you that they have with this knight of cups. Um, but there's also this sort of chronic addiction to bottling down their emotions, running away from their emotions um, and focusing on career instead of um the water suit but right now it's very clear like there's no escape <laughs> like they're so emerged in this winter like it's time is kind of what i'm hearing for them to uh i'm hearing like weight of the truth or i have another oracle card that says that where it's like this person maybe avoided the weight of a certain truth and that certain truth i want to say is maybe you walking away um and i feel like for a long time this person maybe if you guys did separate or you guys did walk away or you walked away from them um or vice versa, even um, there's just even if they walked away because they decided that their career was too important to them or they didn't want to be weakened by emotions or they that wasn't their focus for whatever reason. Um, oh, I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? OK, so well, yeah, what I'm getting is that they've been going through a time period where they do feel very sentimental and hurt even nostalgic um by se separation from you and they do miss you and they do have feelings for you but a part of their ego is to not be like that and is to hold up their their front and hold up their um that i have to do this there's also a sense of obligation it's almost like this person tells themselves like you know they they, they can't do that they they have responsibilities that like people People need them looking at these puppies. It's almost like I have to feed my goldfish tonight. Like I can't, and I'm just joking. It's like, I have to take care of the people that work underneath me. Like I couldn't possibly fall in love. Like I couldn't follow my heart. Um, and they've been in this energy for a long time, but with the two swords being here, it's like, 
no matter which way they want to calculate it while they're in this logical mind, they just feel like it's a lose-lose situation because while they do have feelings for you and they don't want to see this relationship completely end and, and dissolve, honestly. Um, oh, a song I'm hearing is, I want to sing to the bottom with you. There's a feeling of them wanting to escape, like being torn between wanting to escape and wanting to have this deep, like heart to heart with you where they just tell you everything. Um, but as I'm saying that, I get this like sinking feeling in my heart or in my stomach where it's like a nervousness and a like fear. It's like there's a lot of fear around it, but also a desire for it. And so that's that two of swords energy is this, this confusion of feeling more and more safe and secure the more that they try to hide their emotions for you. Um, but also feeling the, they feel less and less free because a part of them authentically does want to connect with you. And that's where I feel like the devil is coming in. Another thing I'm getting now from the Knight of Cups being above and the devil, this person um, may be a part of the reason why they had a hard time opening up or they had a hard time committing to a relationship in the past. I'm getting with the devil. They may have felt... I don't know, they maybe had a partner in the past that was very like codependent or controlling. Maybe they had a controlling parental figure, but there's a part of them that's afraid of love being really binding and they're afraid of enmeshment. So it just feels like a very stereotypical avoidant attachment style person. I just want to check if my microphone's on. It is. Um, but I feel like you've kind of been sent into this person's life or a role you're playing right now is um, an invitation to sink to the bottom of the ocean. and not be so afraid to help them undo this uh fear that they have of attachment of coat of interdependency like there's this energy of this person having pushed it away for a while and found a sense of safety maybe even success through that but there's also a feeling of their heartstrings being tugged on to remind them that their heart does exist still and um they can't ignore it forever and this is something that they are meant to work on is a fear of intimacy a fear of connection that this person definitely has how is pile number two's person currently feeling what are they going through right now within this connection how two's person yeah neptune look at this look at all this blue you guys this is like crazy um, yeah. And whereas this person has leaned towards being logical and look at that heel at the back of the deck that I'm looking at too. Wow. Um, their heel, their route to healing right now very much feels immersing themselves in like, think about how water, like the imagination of water. I almost want to read you guys the blue temple because even I have a heart, like, not like I, like I would, I'm just saying I'd study energies and even as I was reading these cards, it's elusive. It's hard to, to exactly say what, what energy this person is opening up to, but it's that in which I could give you words like the imagination, um, the, the limitless nature of the unconscious, the wisdom of the unconscious, the fantasy element, the um, lack of structure, oxymorons, things looking like one thing being another, no logic. Alice in Wonderland, like I'm just giving you words that come to mind where, where I feel like this person is being pushed to go right now, where they've maybe pushed away from this in the past, like pushed away from dreamy energies. And Neptune, it also has to do with like Pisces, like the Pisces energy, literally like queen of water, you know, um, that this person didn't seem to be very comfortable with it. But they're, yeah, there's a feeling of them being in a that's how they experience the relationship with you. And that's how they feel about you. They feel that you are also, um, they very much see you as um, feminine and the water energy and this uh, dreamy energy. And this person may sometimes feel like terrified of it is kind of what I want to say, because think about how terrifying the ocean is just, and I saw this TikTok. I feel like recently I've been seeing things on social media that are meant to help me in a reading later, which is cool. Um, but I was seeing this uh, picture of a person swimming in the ocean, just how vast it is. And people were like, oh, that's terrifying. And there is something kind of terrifying about the lack of control and structure and the unknown within the feminine, the unconscious, like the moon's energy, you know, like it is scary. scary. And so in a way, this person 
is afraid. I'm also almost getting like, I've also been watching, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been watching it also. Um, but the new Wednesday show, um, The Sirens, you know, it's almost like this person is afraid. You know how like the guy, or if you guys haven't seen it, there's, um, I, I recommend it. It was good. Even though I was like kind of resisting it the first couple of episodes, it just ended up being really good. I liked it. Um, the, the main, one of the like popular girls at the school is um, a siren and the guy like broke up with her because he's like, I don't know if you're controlling me. Like you're, you're like, it was kind of intimidating for him. And so there's almost this energy of, they're almost afraid that if they open up to you, they'll completely lose their shape or they'll lose their logic. And like, it's like, they're almost afraid of being controlled, but you represent this like fear that they need to overcome because they need to balance themselves out. I, and I saw Capricorn at the back of the deck again, um, because I think this person has really relied on that. They could be a Capricorn or have that in their chart, or they may just present in a more like Capricornian way. So that could be another clue is as whether or not this is your pile. What else is pile number two person feeling? Yeah, passion. And it's like a waking up their heart, right? And so I just feel like there's this disconnect. It's like it goes hand in hand is what I'm getting with this person is that um, while you awaken this uh, dreamy energy that is a little bit chaotic and scary for them, it's also the energy of creation, um, beauty and passion and something that this person cannot lie to themselves that they are missing within their current routine or within their current life and it's like the depth of that 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 is incredible yet intimidating that they feel about you and that they feel drawn to you for but yeah one more please spirit how is this person currently feeling we have first house as well in the seventh house the, oh my gosh, I just had a list. The seventh house relationship at the back of the deck. So I do feel like they're learning a lot about how to connect with other people, how to be interdependent, how to have relationships. Because with the first house here in Arrival, I'm kind of getting the same energy as the pilgrim here, where it's like this person's already mastered how to interact in the world and how to, they like, this person will probably come off as very confident um, and not awkward like i just feel like they're very good at like business interactions or making a good first impression but when it comes to like the depths of this person there's this fear to go there and so this person likes to stay on the surface that's why a part of them loves to discover um through traveling or, or through meeting different people and that's the way they like to experience it but they're being the relationship with you really highlights their fear um of experiencing in a more feminine way, in a way that um, invites you into the depths. And the fact that you came through with like the Scorpio energy, like that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like there are things about this person that they're afraid to look at. And I feel like you're someone who goes very deep within yourself. Um, so it makes you very passionate, very creative, but also you've seen the shadow, you've seen the dark side of things. And I think this person's tried their best to kind of live on the more mundane or, or bright side of things, basically. Um, and there's this lack of fulfillment with the eight of cups. Oh, and I'm even getting that they may even be feeling like they aren't very fulfilled by their current um, relationships that they have, or that they may be too transactional or too business oriented or just kind of shallow in a way. And so there is a feeling of this person wanting, a re wanting to reunite with you, but I also think that they're struggling to walk away from something that they've already invested a lot in. But I feel like this person is opening up their imagination and opening up like dreamy thoughts or like fantasies or like, what if I did that? Or what if I did leave everything behind? But then they're in this like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to move forward without a plan. Like this person also likes to have a plan, you know? All right, let's see what else comes to you for how they're currently feeling about you. Yeah, and so I do feel that this person it's like they get this, they have emotions for you without a doubt. Like they do have love for you, like just to make that really clear. Um, but that's something that terrifies them. That's something that kind of triggers their addictions that, yeah, like when they're feeling their emotions, th their addictions are triggered. Um, they want to run away from their emotions. And th this also is something that um, happens, but then they keep returning to thoughts of you or they keep having feelings of, sweet feelings like feelings that if they shove everything down they can't have and so they're in this feeling of 
how could I even get to pile number two? Um, I couldn't do that. That would go, that would be terrifying. Like that would go against everything I've learned, everything I've stood for, but I can't help that I'm being pulled to descend into this Neptunian energy um, where I have disease. <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, it's like, yeah, and this person may have just been someone that was very used to being independent. And oh my gosh, my allergies are kicking in right now. But with the pilgrim here too, it's like, it talks about how some people will question why this person like won't settle down. And so there's almost this like inability to commit or inability to go deep within one spot or like, um, and it's not to say they wouldn't dedicate themselves to a career, you know, they'll go deep within their career, but it's something to do with like emotions or like a, pa or even a passion project, right? Like maybe this person has a creative side to them that they've been suppressing and you're something that helps them go there. And I think they, they do want to be able to go there too. Um, all right. How's pile number two currently feeling? Pile number two's person feeling towards pile number two. What's their current energy like towards them in the relationship or in general? How are they doing? Yeah, a change in the wind. So yeah, I do think that this person um, is actually changing their ways. Um, it is really recognizing maybe that the way that they've always done things, um, the energy they've always been in is, is shifting. And I'm almost getting this energy of like you running past them. <laughs> And then this like person looking back and being like, whoa, like, where did they go? Um, and it's like turning their direction around. I'm almost getting the, the, the feeling of a compass too, where it's like this. I'm also thinking of the parts of the Caribbean now where he has that compass that points them to like what they want most. And I feel like if this person had that compass in their hand, it'd be pointing to you. And so it's almost like they're being pushed to change directions and they're, but they're struggling mentally with uh, logistically, I don't know, accepting that or doing that. We have Observer. But yeah, with Observer, I do feel like they're seeing things from a different perspective. Um, they've been doing, it's like I'm hearing a whole new world also. Um, and so it's like, think about how Jasmine is the one who's like always kind of kept in the, the palace or she's royalty. And so she doesn't get to see very much. And I almost feel like you'd be Aladdin in that dynamic where, there's magic if you take the risk kind of. And so there's almost this feeling of number one, them watching you or seeing what you're doing. Um, again, this compass, this, this sight set on you, but how you also expand this person's um, worldview, you expand their, their viewpoint. They're able to see more. We also have thinker here too, though. And so, yeah, there's almost this feeling of them overthinking things. Um, and needing to learn how to get out of their head and into their emotions and into their intuition and trust their intuition, things like that. But yeah, with the thinker here, I do feel like this person has a tendency to overthink and try to um, plan things out. Um, and I also feel like this person is keeping their distance from you until they've come up with the plan or they really know how they could do it. But one thing is for sure, it's, it's on their mind, like wanting to switch things up and wanting to change something. Yeah, look at this. It's like we have, they can either go round and round or they can tap into their imagination in this blue energy. It's like they're being called to let go of the story they've been telling themselves about who they are and about what's good for them or what's safe for them, what isn't. And it's like an opportunity to break a, um, yeah, break something that happened from childhood here where they always felt like they had to go buy the book in this yang energy. Um, and to follow, follow spirit and follow their intuition to a different reality. So it's definitely a deep connection, you guys. Um, all right, let's get a couple more. How's pile number two's person feeling towards them? You can't find your heart or you can't find goodness because you lost your heart. Yeah. And look at that. I want to sink to the bottom with you. And it's like, sorry, the lighting is kind of getting dark, but you can see that their heart is in the ocean and it's like this person's reaching for it. Right. And so they're becoming aware as well. Yeah. We have party leader and there's this need. It's like this person is great in a party setting is great um, with these superficial connections. It can, there's like an addiction to that. They may even like to party too, or like to like not feel their feelings or something like that. But there's this, growing emptiness and a growing need for to reunite with their heart um and to no longer get so much fulfillment from the more superficial 
energy. Yeah. This person is warming up with sheer tenderness here. Um, and as I see warming up, there's your light and cast your sacred symbols. I feel like you've made a strong impact on this person and it's like their heart is warming up. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And so I, I'm, I just watched frozen for the first time yesterday. I don't know why I never watched it, but I'm kind of getting some messages about that where it's like, you know, how uh, Elsa is supposed to not like feel or like conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. But then there's this energy of like, while they don't feel their heart, then they can't be free. Um, and while they may be making a good impression, like on the town or whatever, it's like, they're losing a sense of themselves. And there's a strong loneliness that this person feels um, that can only be remedied through like warming up their heart and, and allowing their heart to be warmed by others and things like that. So yeah, let's see what spirit wants you to, what we want to go into for the extended reading. Um, I'll use the same deck. So for pile number two, what is most, what would be most interesting for them to go into for the extended reading regarding this connection? We have the tower, the moon, and the page of pentacles, three of wands. I'm getting what you don't see coming um, with the tower here and the moon. I feel like spirit wants me to go into the tower and the moon. Yeah, it's like what you don't see coming is what I'm going to get. What what you don't see coming within this connection. Um, there's some sort of secret or something that spirit wants me to reveal. So we're going to be looking at what secret you need to know about this connection or what needs what's going to be revealed to you, what's going to surprise you um, about this connection with this person. So I'll have that link down below um, if you want to join me in the extended. If you are leaving me here, I am so thankful to have had you for the YouTube portion. So thank you so much. If it did resonate, please do hit the like button. It really helps support my videos and my channel. Leave a comment. I love to see what you guys have to say about the readings, how you guys resonated. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next big card reading. And I hope to connect with your energy sometime soon. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the clear quartz crystal heart and the apparition tarot, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at how your person is honestly feeling about you right now. First, we're going to start off with an energy check-in where we're going to look at how you're feeling about the connection just to help you figure out whether or not you feel like this is your pile. So I pre-pulled some Oracle cards um, ahead of time to see what energy you guys are showing up in right now. Um, there will be an extended reading, so stay tuned for that. I'll be asking Spirit what is most helpful to go into for the extended. But for now, we're going to look at... Um, your energy in this connection. We'll spend less time on that, but I just think it's important to help you guys figure out if it is actually your pile. So um, for your energy, we have the unseen here and we have mercury. So I'll be using these um, throughout the reading to get a deeper insight into how you're feeling. Um, but so far what's coming through with the unseen is this green color stood out to me the green around the eye here in mercury so um i feel like you may be going through um lessons to do with your heart chakra i feel like your heart chakra may be something that um is a focus for you right now you may be more drawn to green in general um but with mercury being here in the unseen both of these cards talk about um communication and messages and the mode of uh trans transmitting information so with the unseen here this also talks about um communication with spirit guides or communication with um the divine basically and so i feel like right now could be a time period where um you are getting more in touch with your spirit guides um you may be feeling like you're getting messages about this connection um via uh signs, symbols, downloads. So yeah, there may be a psychic connection here. Um, but yeah, you may just be currently looking for guidance through your guides or maybe just YouTube videos. But I feel like you guys are turning to, which obviously since you guys are watching tarot on it, but there's a feeling of um, 
looking for truth in this connection right now. Um, yeah, searching out other ways that you can understand this person in this relationship better and what it's supposed to mean to you. So let's see now how more specifically you are experiencing the connection, what your energy is like. So how is pile number three feeling towards their person, their energy? What's their energy towards this connection? How are they feeling? We have the devil, the five of cups, the six of cups. Okay, so you may feel right now um, very bound to this connection with the devil coming out first. There's a feeling of um, feeling tied to this person or this connection or feeling like, um, yeah, like you can't get away from it or it may feel a little bit suffocating sometimes um, thinking back to this connection or um, the emotions that you felt through this may have been very overwhelming for you. Um, with the Six of Cups here and the Five of Cups, it does make me feel like you do, may spend a lot of time reflecting on this connection or the past of this connection. Um, you may want to communicate with your person or you may be cut off right now. There's something about communication that um, I feel like would be a topic for you. Either you're not getting very much communication from your person or you feel like you're getting signs by your person um, via like spirit. Pile number three, how are they feeling about their person? How are they feeling towards this person? We have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Swords. Temperance. Great. Queen of Wands. One more, please. Yeah, you may feel like your person's very strategic, or um, it may make you sad that... Um, I, I feel like you have very much wanted to genuinely be open about emotions in the past. Um, and I feel like you're looking for, um, not necessarily closure, but clarity about this person. Cause it just feels like you may have been hurt by this person playing games or, um, being overly strategic, not being super genuine or open with you is what I'm getting. Um, can we finish out this spread please, Spirit? Why is the Queen of Wands here? The problem with three. How's three feeling? Death. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right. Okay. So I'm getting this feeling that you really want to move past a feeling of still being attached to this person. I feel like, um, I feel like you want to protect yourself from this connection, but meanwhile, you still have feelings with this person. So there's kind of like this dual energy here that I feel like you're trying to balance. Like, I feel like on one hand, you feel sentimental about this person um, and you have feelings for them. And, but there's also this energy of wanting to turn your back towards this person. Um, maybe even feeling that this is like negative for you, toxic for you. And you may be, you may be feeling this um, tension of like feeling like you're betraying yourself the more that you care about this person, the more you feel about your person because I feel like this person's hurt you or um, they may have hurt your confidence. It's almost like you feel like in order to restore your confidence, um, you almost feel like there's a need to like let this go or let this transform because um, I feel like you really want your peace of mind, but there's something about feeling that this person maybe wasn't honest or um, they never were able to just be super um, genuine, open with you. Like you feel like you had genuine intentions. And then this person maybe with Mercury too, this can talk about um, tricky communication or communication. The fact that communication can be used to bend, um, bend the truth or it can be used to, yeah, to paint a different picture of reality, right? Um, and so, yeah, there's just this energy of wanting to break free, feeling bound by this. Um, yeah, because with the seven of wands, I do feel like there's a part of you that even feels defensive towards this person. Um, you feel defensive towards them, but you also feel 
hurt and sad and still resolving feelings of grief from this relationship and how it went out in the past. Um, yeah, and then with temperance and death here, I just feel like you want your peace of mind and you want that sense of balance. Um, uh, you may even wish that there could be some way to just get closure or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm seeing these two butterflies. And so there's a feeling of you wanting to blossom and you wanting to move forward, but feeling somehow shackled or bound to this, honestly. Let's get a couple more to see how else. We'll be spending more time on your person. I just want to make sure that you feel like this resonates with you. If this doesn't feel like your energy, you might want to check out another pile. Or you, and with the unseen here, you may even feel like a lot of this relationship is like not uh, out in the open or like there's a lot of like subtle communications maybe that you and your person have or like there's a lot of um, innuendo like in the relationship and you may feel like this person does just doesn't communicate openly but there is a lot of energy surrounding the connection you may just feel like you may feel like this person is also connected to you still as well um but there's something about a communication problem or misunderstandings um yeah let's see what else how is pile number three currently feeling for a person there's a sense of disappointment and maybe even now you feel like you want to protect yourself or pull back or like maybe you're starting to think you want to be more strategic towards this person but there's just this energy of having to be strategic wishing you didn't have to be that way like you just could but like you're almost afraid that if you wear your heart on your sleeve you're leaving yourself vulnerable how is pile number three currently feeling towards a person we have pink bubble fairy the one who hides the sun yeah there's a feeling here of like I, I just feel like you are someone that's very genuine, very connected with your inner child with the Six of Cups being here and the Queen of Wands. I feel like you may be maturing right now or this relationship may be something that's been a um, catalyst for your growth, especially um, into your confidence, maybe out of a more lovey-dovey energy one of, of a person like a Page of Cups energy into like Queen of Wands. Um, whereas I feel like you maybe are very used to just following your heart. I feel like there's just this energy of feeling blocked from feeling like you have good intentions here and, um, just feeling like this, this person, you feel very like much so like you may need to protect yourself or it's like, you don't understand why this person, um, is so guarded towards you or is so, um, closed off in a way because you know you have good intentions so there's sort of a confusion about that i'm hearing steal my sunshine it's like i feel like you go back and forth between wanting to be positive towards this person we also have sitting on top of the world and then cast your sacred sacred symbols all right let me dig in a little bit more so I feel like you're a positive person and I feel like you're someone that isn't wanting to play games here, you know, with this person. And so I just feel like there's this energy that you're kind of stepping into where it's like, if this person is not going to step out of this devil energy or is like not going to be honest with you, not going to step up and give you what you deserve. There's almost a feeling here um, of you going like, okay, well, like I'll just take my magical energy, my giving loving energy elsewhere and i'll just sit in my confidence and i'll and i can let this go because there's almost this feeling of like if you don't want to join me that's fine like in my energy but definitely i'm not going to allow you to come in and block my own source of like energy and bring me down because i feel like maybe this relationship has kind of brought you down in the past um but yeah i feel like you're in a kind of transformational time period where um you're, you're frustrated that maybe your kindness has been taken for weakness or even your innocence. And I feel like, I feel like you're learning to protect yourself. Um, maybe you perceive also that this person is overly self-protective and because of that, they may have hurt you because they're so closed off. But I also feel like it's a lesson for you to, um, you know, you don't have to bring everyone up with you, especially if you're in this high vibrational energy and like that's where you're moving, especially with this queen of wands. I feel like your confidence is rising. 
Um, and with temperance, there's almost this energy of like, okay, well, I'll just go explore in my own positive energy. Um, and so I feel like you are moving forward and exploring and trying to let go of this as you transform. But I feel like there's still memories that that call you back. I do feel like it's more of a past energy and it's like you're moving forward um, into a more transformative energy. But there is this pull sometimes back um, to this person. So, yeah, that's what I have so far for your energy check in. Um, let's see how if this is resonating for you, how your person is currently feeling about you now. Oh, I'm hearing, um, maybe we got lost in translation. Maybe I asked for too much, but maybe this thing was a masterpiece or you tore it all up. I'm hearing all, um, all too well by Taylor Swift just coming through. All right. So you're for your person's energy. Um, I literally had to shuffle it three times because a bunch of cards kept coming out for the energy that they're in. And I think it's because spirit had a story to tell with these. So the cards that we got um, are the box, the womb, the fault line, and the cave. I'm actually going to, yeah. And then how they're experiencing the, ener the energy of the connection is the earth's heart. Okay, I might put this on the here to side. And so what I'm getting um, just from the these cards that have come out, um, I feel like this person, I want to say, feels like someone that um, has gotten a lot of comfort from staying inside their comfort zone with the box there. This person may be someone who um, tends to be more traditional or they may follow like traditional sort of ideas like around family, around work. Um, they may even have a family that is very traditional where they like pass on the tradition. They're kind of expected to, um, expected to follow a, a structure or a limiting, um, philosophy is kind of what I'm getting. And so I think this person has kept themselves safe in a box and they may even have like very rigid ego sort of definitions of themselves and, um, this person may have a hard time opening up in general because of the fact that they feel so safe within the, I'm getting like the womb of the box. And so I think there could be a mother in this person's life, I would say, that maybe is very like controlling of this person. I would get that they had some sort of controlling parents or something like that, um, where I feel like instead of this person going kind of deep into their own authenticity, I feel like they've, and this theme has been coming up on my channel a lot, um, it's like they've been instead of connecting with their own individual heart, I feel like they've been um, finding love and validation and comfort and stability through boxes, like the boxes of society, you know, things like that. Like, oh, having a certain significant other, having a certain job, like things like that, that um, kind of give you that sense of security. But I think what this person is being pushed into is seeing like the cracks with the fault line that talks about um, sort of a structure cracking or the fact that you can't ignore that there are like leaks in the roof. There's leaks in this box basically right now. And these leaks in this box are pushing this person to explore this archetype of the cave, which actually is very opposite to the box. And there's a feeling of, and the womb. This is a place that is some people will never want to go because, and it kind of talks about how the opposite of the cave would be like staying in the city lights and staying in the excitement of society and things like that. And I think that's something that this person has done a lot, but I feel like with the cave being here, it's making me feel that this person is being pushed down. Let's say their box was here and they always stayed on the surface of it. It's like they're going down, down, down into their own heart and discovering more mysteries to do with um, self introspection and um, like discovering your authentic self like as whereas the box the box also makes me think of like our ego because it's like our ego sometimes functions as a box like we'll say i see myself as only these things and so you keep that in the box and it feels very safe but then your shadows outside of the box and i think this person hasn't explored a lot of their shadows um due to um the way that they live their life and they may just keep busy you know they kind of like to surround themselves with a lot of um 
flashing lights or uh, social events, you know, um, they don't have to be super social, but it could even just be whatever way they do it. I feel that this person has been able to live a life of comfort um, and not had to explore their deeper self too much, or they may have avoided that a lot of their life, like going really deep within. And so with the earth's heart, like this talks about in the womb here too, there's a lot of energy of this person maybe realizing what true nurturance is and what true connection to I'm getting divine feminine, but also like mother earth, like nurturing energy. It's like this person may have felt very nurtured by the box. I'm also getting the matrix. So the energy of the matrix is kind of here that the metaphor where um, some people prefer to stay in the matrix, even though they know that it's all like these robots. Like if you guys have seen the matrix, it's like all the um, robots basically farming the humans, but some people will literally know that, but because being in the matrix is safe and, um, whatever they can make a deal with the robots it's like you know they're disconnected with their own truth and the truth of life and the truth of themselves um and some people like to stay there but there's this energy of this person getting an invitation to go deeper and to explore deeper into themselves but i'm not sure how far they are we'll look into the tarot with that to see how they're feeling about you but i do feel like this is maybe can explain some part of why this person um maybe was avoidant of you because maybe you push them outside of their comfort zone um and you may be triggering it's like almost in order for them to respond to you they may need to go deeper within themselves and that's something they're afraid of but i think it's something that they're being pushed to do All right, how is pile number three's person currently feeling towards pile number three? We have King of Pentacles. And that's what I'm kind of talking about. There's this, there's this accumulation energy where I feel like this person um, very much has mastered sort of their comforts around them, at least. How's bottom of three person currently feeling? Eight of cups, two of wands. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So I feel like this person, um, they may have some sort of secure lifestyle. Look at that, the star at the bottom too. They may have some sort of secure lifestyle that I've been picking up on, but I feel like this person is starting to realize that um, it isn't uh, exactly emotionally fulfilling or it's not really speaking to their soul and their heart, like the life that they're living or even the place that they're at. And it's kind of interesting to see with the Eight of Cups here that the city is here. Um, and now I'm hearing the city is going to break my heart. It's going to love me and leave me alone. And so this person may be... Um, has been chasing sort of lights or chasing a abundant life, chasing finances, money, materialism, things like that. Um, but there's a growing energy within this person where they're thinking to the future. And I'm getting sort of the analogy with this two of wands here or the feeling that I see this blue candle and this yellow candle. And I feel like oh, I'm kind of getting another idea too, but I feel like the two of wands can talk about making a decision for the future and it can talk about new paths opening up and debating whether or not you're going to go the route that's maybe more challenging more fulfilling it's an invitation to to venture towards your soul's path or your soul's desire with with it being in the fire suit so it's like you can have the ace of wands and it's like this potential for creation of this potential for a momentum in your life to go down a path a project um make changes it's like the fire can have that ability to make changes um but i feel like with the two of wands it's like the next stage either at the two of wands you can make the decision to lay down the foundation the plans or you can never make it past the two of wands in the cycle and i feel like this person is at this point where they're considering walking away or there's this there's this a uh, there's this safe place that's kind of keeping them away from their intuition and their heart here it's like it's like all the fruits blocking that um psychic sort of the crystal ball so how else is pile number three currently feeling 
be the Knight of Swords. How's this person feeling right now? The Page of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, yeah, okay. And Page of Pentacles. So I feel like this person, um, I feel like they've had a um, very rigid way of seeing life or seeing this connection um, with the Knight of Swords here. Because I feel like the Knight of Swords can sometimes even be a little bit aggressive within their ideas or they can be very, like, very sure of their ideas um, to a point where they're maybe not be able to see the other side because of just the speed at which and the conviction they have within their own ideas. And so I feel like for a long time, this person has um, been very fixed on the idea of their future falling in line with this box or this idea of what they had for themselves. But I feel like they're in this conflict energy and I feel like it has to do with you and I'll get into it. But I feel like with this page of swords being here, number one, I feel like this thought that they're having with the page of swords, I feel like they're thinking about like, well, what if, what if this isn't fulfilling for me? And then there's a part of them that's like, there's like the devil and the angel on their shoulders and like the devil, which I feel like it could be different for everyone. But for this person specifically, I feel like more materialism and discarding their feelings and following their heart is something that's more of the devil's talk because it's more fear-based that this person's kind of doing that. So I feel like they're um, in this, they've reached this king of pentacles or they've always wanted to go in this direction if they're not already there. Um, and then there's this thought that they're having at the Page of Swords here, this new idea, this new potential, this new learning of a, a potential new path, right? Um, where they feel that they could, I think it has something to do with following you or, or um, walking away from what keeps them from you is what I get. But I feel like when this person thinks about a path where they could reunite with you or that they could chase you or come towards you, it's like there's this head versus heart battle where, um, yeah, with the Page of Swords here and the Eight of Cups, it's like a part of them isn't fulfilled. Like the fact that that thought's coming to their mind is that there is a, a truth within themselves. And the fact they're even having this thought is healthy for them and is good that they're even shifting in that way. Because I feel like in the past, they've been very sure this person may be also... Um, it's like they feel can feel threatened by other de other ideas that don't support their own. And I think that's something that this person's like struggled with is like needing to be very sure within their ideal idea set and like kind of arguing that it's the best one or it's like the only one or something like that. But I feel like even this person now um, is having these thoughts and it even could be from you or like you may be showing this person the page of swords could also represent you to them. But it's almost this new thought of potentially leaving behind all of these these cups here that they, they've already invested into this box so it's like this person's been building up this box for a long time um but i think it's cracking or there's a fissure in it because there's a feeling of knowing that this isn't really fulfilling and it's like this person's become aware of this fault line They're, they become aware that like something to do with the way they're operating in the world is not fulfilling for them within their relationships too and it connects to that um, but this person gets so much anxiety with the Nine of Swords when they even think about, um, like, being brave enough is kind of what I'm getting to go down a new path. Because look at this. Yeah, and the Page of Pentacles and the Lovers. It's like, yeah, then Justice and the Fool. So there's a feeling of this person maybe wanting to bring justice to the connection, but it would require them taking a risk, number one, and it would require them choosing their, their heart over their head. And I think that's something that this person has issues with, especially with the lovers being here that talks about choices and making choices from a place of unconditional love. And with the page of pentacles, it's like this person's almost like, what if there was a new path available? But I think this person's head gets like so, um, when they reflect on their heart, I think this is what their heart wants is to move in another direction or maybe, maybe move towards you as well. But with the two of wands here, it's like when they get to the planning stage and they're like, okay, like, how could I do that? It's like they overthink it. So there's this energy of them being like having a really hard time just following their intuition or trusting their heart because I think they have such a strong like 
foundation of following rules or, or being logical, having a straight, a linear path like this person. Um, it's almost like, look at this path being winding too. It's like they can't fathom that that would be a path that'd be more fulfilling for them. And again, here's another wiggly line. It's like, I feel like they're having, oh, look, another one. It's like they're having a hard time fathoming a nonlinear uh, growth pattern. And um, I think like the divine is trying to facilitate an understanding that there are cracks within their logic and cracks within the way that they see the world and like the way that they need to, the more that they connect with their heart, the more that they feel this truth. And so I feel like they're in this um, sort of like internal struggle right now of what makes them happy versus what is going to make them feel safe. What energy is Pounder 3's person currently dealing with? We have, yeah, they're thinking about the future because we have that two of wands. It's like they're in this energy of planning their future right now. And I think it has a lot to do with considering like what could happen in this connection. So when it comes to this connection, I feel like this person's very focused on how could I make it work? Like, let's think of new ideas for that page of swords. Let's be open to new ideas. But I feel like every time this person tries to plan something out, um, it stresses them out, but there is this feeling of wanting to connect with you in the future or make something happen in the future or even come forward with a message. But it's like, when it comes with the page of swords, nine of swords next to it, it's like this feeling of, I don't know what to say, or I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make the situation better um, because everything threatens my safety <laughs> um, and the walls that I've built around myself. What else are pile number three's person? Uh, Neptune, this is reminding me of another pile too. So you might have multiple piles here, or this could be like future energies, things like that. Yeah, but with Neptune, it's like vision and future. It's like allowing themselves to have a more imaginative vision for the future. And I'm just seeing this light bulb projecting outwards. And it's like, it's almost like I'm imagining that with the Knight of Swords, sometimes imagine that their intellect is the only thing that they have to go off of. It's like, yeah, maybe they've mastered this earth element or they like understand the logic of surviving on the earth, but there's the whole cosmos around them and there's the whole infinite. And it's like, it's like this person um, has had a limited way of considering the possibilities. And I just feel like right now they're looking at you like a symbol, a symbol of hope or a symbol of potential of unlimited possibilities and the sense of freedom. But I do feel like this person is sometimes a slave to the past or the way that they've always kind of done things. One more, please. Pile number three is person. And Neptune would just definitely involve leaving their box and going outside of the box. We also have Leo here. And then the eighth house. Back to the deck. I get a sip of water. And so Leo, I feel that the reason why Leo is coming out here um, is because, number one, I feel like Leo is a very courageous um, energy, right? Like the, the fire suit, the fixed fire suit. It's all about courage. It's all about strength. It's about, um, like, that literally is the Leo card is strength and tarot. And so I feel like this person is transforming or or trying to integrate to turn into someone that follows their passion more confidently, right? I think this is someone who's been very restricted or very calculated. And I feel like that's what you're observing of them too with the Seven of Swords. I don't think it's because they have any bad intentions. I think it's because they genuinely have anxiety or they like get outside of their comfort zone and they freeze up and then they may end up hurting people. But I think it's because they actually just are very rigid. You know, it's not that they're having that intention. But I feel like with this Leo here, it's like, I feel like you inspire this person to follow their passion. Um, you may be a fire sign or have Leo in your chart too, but I feel like the way they feel about you is that you're very expansive and um, you say F it to the box is kind of how I feel. And so I feel like there's this energy of what if I let my fears go behind me and I had the courage to follow my passions. And so I think that's where this person's at right now. Um,
How is pile number three's person currently feeling? Oh, by the way, with the eighth house, I feel like that's everything that the box would not be conscious of. So this person, I feel like, is being called to um, go within, right? So we have regeneration. I do, and I do feel like this person, in deep knowing as well, I feel like there is a wish that this person has to um, mend the situation with you um, or potentially, yeah, potentially rewater this. I feel like this person does want to do that. But I feel like there's also this energy of them um, being forced with deep knowing here. This even talks about um, the knowledge that comes like from reading in between the lines. It's very much like the high priestess's knowledge. Like it's like that. And so I feel like this person um, is connecting with their feminine energy. Um, and I do feel like they are moving in a direction of regenerating themselves away from this sort of broken mold that they've been living in and i do think that they their their hope and their wish is to um overcome this and to transform and i yes and it, it becomes more and more clear to them as they are tapping into the knowledge that comes through um intuitive knowing we have the moon and an owl and it's like so that divine feminine knowledge and that has a lot to do with the cave as well um yeah and I, 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 there's just a feeling of them knowing that their current structure has to die. Um, and I feel like they're getting guidance that they will be able to regenerate it. And I think that's what's on this person's mind is like, if they left things behind, if they changed, would they be able to regenerate? Would they be able to, you know, I'm hearing the song um, Six Feet Under. Our love is six feet under. I can't help but wonder, like, if they watered it, would roses bloom? So if you guys know that song um, by Billie Eilish, um, it's, it's that feeling here for this person. Like, could it, do, could it bloom, right? And I'm also getting with the, um, the Earth's heart here. It's almost like this energy of exploring deeper like going deeper 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 in their exploration of life is what i feel like they're being called to do yeah we have alchemy so i do feel like this person is in this process of figuring out how they can shift and change and they are in, they are motivated um to transform this connection transform themselves um and i think they're seeing what isn't working to with the fault line there i think they're starting to see that and so i do think they are looking for transformation um that isn't without fear, basically. We have under a spell. Yeah, and this person may have felt like, like they've been under a spell or like there's this energy of them. And look at all the stars. Remember, I was like, they're following flashing lights. And so for a long time, this person maybe let like flashy things distract them, like this, all that glitters energy. But there's almost this feeling of seeing behind the veil or seeing behind like the illusion, like, or even like within the matrix where, everything looks super real but when they wake up from it it's like oh my god like we're literally these like bald humans with all these tubes connected to us and it's disgusting and so you very quickly wake up from the spell it's like there's an energy like that where they're not seeing the things around them that they used to chase after um as as appealing yeah then the sheep who wandered and found a different shelf a uh, shepherd and so i do feel like um i feel like this person wants to i'm getting the energy of what do you worship or what do you make your God basically? And I feel like this person is going through a transformation of what they really worship or what, um, yeah. So it's almost like this person may have been working for the man or always in the system in the hierarchy. And it's almost like, what if I found a different shepherd? What if I found something else to follow? Um, what would I have to change within myself to honor that part of myself and, um, follow my heart. Right. And I feel like this connects to you specifically as well. Um, all right. How is pile number three's person currently feeling towards them specifically? We have choice. They may be trying to choose. How is pile number three's person currently feeling towards them? We have begin. And I feel like they're wondering if there's a potential for a new beginning. They're thinking about that. They're, th they're thinking about choosing. What if I tried 
to regenerate a new beginning. We also have rest here. And so I do feel like though, with this person having rest, it's like, it's like they're trying to gather their strength. Um, it's like, they're almost in this energy of like, not now. Um, it's like, they want to make this choice. It's like, I'm getting this energy of, and there's all these stars kind of consistently throughout this. Um, I do feel like this person is maybe spending time alone right now, um, reflecting on this relationship. And um, with regeneration here, I feel like this person is actually working on um, regenerating themselves and working through all this anxiety that they're feeling, because I do think they really want to walk away. And I think they are having these new ideas, potential new beginnings on the horizon. Um, but it's like this person's almost figuring out how can I choose that? And I feel like rest is here because I do think they've been spending time in hermit mode. Um, taking a break almost from the usual chaos, maybe that, maybe this person's usually really busy, but there's this feeling of them trying to get the rest that they need so they can think clearly about this. And so they can make a, the right decision about where they want to move forward with this. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys. Um, I want to see if, what do I want to get right now? All right, let's now look at what um, Spirit wants to look at in the extended reading. This deck is going to have reversals in it, but I'm, I'm not going to look at them for the, actually maybe I will, we'll see. So Spirit, for pile number three, what else would pile number three benefit from knowing in regards to this person, which we focus on for the extended. We have the 10 of wands in reverse. King of cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm getting, um, what I'm getting here is I feel like spirit wants us to go into what this person it's something about like what are their secret feelings for you what are they hiding from you is what i'm getting um what aren't they telling you about yeah that's what i'm gonna get what is this person hiding from you what is this person not communicated to you about their feelings um yeah what has this person been holding back in regards with their feelings specifically towards you because even though this is meant to be their feelings a lot of what came through was their energy, right? And their energy is so based in swords and pentacle energy is what I would say. And so I want to see like what go deep, going deeper into like what this person is thinking about in this rest, like what's going on um, in this self-reflective energy. So that's what we're going to look at in the extended. What are their hidden feelings? Like what are the secret feelings that they've never expressed to you? Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to get. What are the feelings that they have not expressed to you? So if that's something that's interesting for you, um, I'll have it linked underneath the timestamps. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed doing it. If it did resonate, please do hit the like button. Um, make sure you comment. Let me know what you guys thought. I love to read your comments and see how it resonated. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next Pick a Card reading. And I hope to connect with your energy sometime soon.